All right, so I did my uh, presentation on Nam June Paik or Nam June Paik. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Nam June Paik was born in Seoul, South Korea in 1932. He was the youngest of five siblings, um, born to a pretty wealthy family, actually, uh, with two older brothers and two older sisters. He passed away in uh, 2006. He is considered to be the founder of video art. Um, and he was an important pioneer of the Fluxus movement, which I will go into uh, in a few slides. Uh, he received his BA in aesthetics from the University of Tokyo in uh, 1956, and he wrote his thesis on um, composer Arnold Schoenberg. Um, he, so yeah, he originally started out uh, learning about uh, music and music theory. Um, he went on and studied in Western Germany um, about uh, music theory specifically after he got his BA in Tokyo. Um, here's one of his more sculptural uh, digital artworks. Um, he was one of the first people to ever work with a portable camcorder, which is interesting. I feel like that's not something we really um, think about or focus on in art. Um, he worked with big name performers and artists like David Bowie, uh, and he has been his work has been featured in international art exhibitions, in including um, the Documenta, the Venice Biennale, and the Whitney Biennale. Um, so the Fluxus movement, um, was an art movement that took place in the 60s, and it's considered by some to be the most influential art movement of the 1960s. Um, it placed a large emphasis on the artistic process versus the finished product. Uh, members of the Fluxus movement had very radical ideas about art and its place in society, um, and it broadened what could be considered art. Uh, so, hang on, me, oop, that's not what I meant to do. I've got a quick video to show you, it's kind of hard to find, um, good videos of his work, um, but this is one, um, of, uh, his work Megatron slash Matrix. And I'm only going to show the first part of this video uh, just because the quality starts to decrease after a certain point. Alright. So that's um, pretty uh, stereotypical of his work. Um, Though that work wasn't specifically during the Fluxus period, you can see that it was heavily inspired by it, um, because it is it's pretty it's pretty radical for art. You know, you don't really see um, most art like that from that point in time. So here are some images of his other works. Um, I believe this one was just untitled. Um, I think it's pretty interesting how he uses so many screens for things. Um, I think it's very creative and it gives it definitely, from our modern view, it gives us a very, uh, gives it a very retro look. Um, this is called the uh, Internet Superhighway, um, or Electronic Superhighway, not Internet, I'm sorry. Um, this is one of the pieces he's most well known for. 
um, all of these, I believe there's like 360 TVs in this piece. Um, and they all have different, like they all project different images at different points in time, like depending on what state they're in. Um, and then this one I also believe was untitled. Uh, as you can see, he likes to do a lot of work with multiple screens. And here are my questions. How is Nam June Paik's work different from other artists' work that we've covered? How do you think the Fluxus movement affected Paik's work? And does Paik's work convey a clear message to you, why or why not? And here are my sources. <laughs>